One of the worst winters we can remember in recent history back in 2014 2015. That's one of those years that answers the question. Can the Great Lakes really completely freeze? We know what a big impact that the Great Lakes have on our weather every single winter, but this is one of those that's very tricky to answer because as far as we know, the Great Lakes have never 100% froze over. They've come awfully close and one of those years was back in that super harsh winter almost a decade ago now. When we talk about why we don't see it freezing, a lot of it comes down to the depths of the lake. Look at Lake Michigan here, ice on the western part, the clouds streaming off there. Look at Lake Ontario here. Remember how harsh this winter was? Even then, couldn't get the lake to freeze all the way over, just some clouds overhead here. One of the big reasons why and what we're looking at are the current lake water temperatures. We see that we have colder waters to the north, warmer waters to the south, and Lake Erie is one of those that typically freeze over very quickly. The reason why? The average depth is only 62 feet when you average the whole lake basin, so not very deep when you compare it to lakes like Lake Superior, which has an average depth of 500 feet. So it takes a long time for the ice to form up here. So the Great Lakes early in the season act as a warming mechanism for us. It really takes the sting out of some of those early season cold shots. But as the season goes on, we know that it has more effects. And one of those would be lake effect. As those northern winds come over the warm lake waters, it can cause all sorts of problems for those lake effect belt areas. For us here in the western portions of Lake Erie, oftentimes not as much. And here's the reason why. Let me break this down for you. What's going on when it comes to lake effect snow? We've got the relatively warm waters of the Great Lakes, right? We get the cold air to come over top of that warm water and it causes rising motions to happen in the atmosphere. And one of those can be lake effect snow. And many times the snow is not measured in inches, but can be measured in feet by the time it's all said and done. This is big time snow for some portions of the Great Lakes that are downstream here in Toledo, Northwest Ohio, not so much. Cities like Buffalo average 95 inches of snow a season. Cleveland, 64 inches in Grand Rapids, Michigan, over six feet of snow. For us like Milwaukee and Toledo, which sit on the western ends of the lakes, now, because of those prevailing westerly winds, it pushes the lake effect snow away from us. Some of the many effects that the Great Lakes have on our weather every single winter. Reporting in studio, I'm meteorologist Brian Weekman.